Good literal afternoon. <sighs> Today we're talking about soap. Specifically, Dr. Squatch soap. Specifically because I have become obsessed. If you've heard of Dr. Squatch soap, it's probably because of some cursed advertisement that you've seen on Instagram or some other such platform where they're like, Hey, are you tired of smelling like garbage and using soap made out of chemicals like gasoline and Sierra Mist? Are you tired of using soap made out of literal dirt? Are you tired of using soap where the main ingredient is Coca-Cola and lithium batteries? Is your skin tired of literally falling off of your body after you use regular store-bought soap? Well, now it's time to check out Dr. Squatch. It's all natural and it makes you smell like a man. That kind of stuff. It's very meme and cheesy. Anyways, I purchased every single bar of soap that they have, which is, I believe, 11 main ones. And then they also had a limited edition bundle that I got as well. And then there's also a bar of soap that only comes if you get the deodorant package. And so I got that too. And now I'm going to smell and rank all of them. Soap video. Time to unbox the soap. I will be using a knife. My knife is named Knifey. Yes. Please recycle this box. You can count on it. So let's start with the main soaps that you can get on their website at any time. First one I pull out here, Gold Moss. Gold Moss smells like... Gold Moss smells really good. What the heck? That's actually good. Whew. The scent that it describes on the corner here is earthy oak. It kind of smells just sort of cologne-y. Let's take a look at the bar here. Golden Moss color. Let's talk about Grapefruit IPA. What could that smell like? Potentially grapefruit? It smells like carbonated grapefruit. It smells like you can smell bubbles, which is good because you want bubbles in a soap, as you would want bubbles in a carbonated drink, if you're into carbonated drinks. I wouldn't recommend drinking this though, I guess. Shut up! The scent on the side here for this one is citrus and hops. Hops, of course, they mean jumping up and down and not something else. Wow. That's what that bar looks like. Very clean feeling, you know, it gives off a real bar of soap texture. Next up, cedar citrus. This one says cedar infused orange. It smells like what might happen if you ran over an orange with a car tire. It's delicious, it's nutritious, it's full of vitamin C. This one I do recommend that you drink. That one's got some, some spots in it. Bay Rum. This is a really popular one on their website because who doesn't love um, soap? The scent is described as island tropics with spice. What I smell, cinnamon, cinnamon, like Christmas cinnamon. That's what it looks like. Very cute. This is uh, probably the cutest bar of soap we've seen so far. Now I know what you're thinking. Eucalyptus Greek yogurt. That sounds like a hot mess. This one doesn't even give a scent description on the side, which means it probably does not have a smell. Mm. Here, you smell it at home. What does it smell like to you? Leave a comment and let me know. Uh, smells like Crest toothpaste. Spearmint basil scrub. Spearmint basil scrub? Spearmint basil scrub? I can read. This one smells like that Orbit Spearmint Gum or the Orbit Sweet Mint Gum. If you are a chewer of much gum, it smells like that. This is a very strong smelling one as well. I kind of like it a lot. <sighs> that one smells good, frick. There we go, we got Pine Tar here. Pine Tar is my exposure to them because one of my friends had Pine Tar soap and I smelled it and I thought this is gonna change my world. This is gonna change everything. Do you wanna smell like Han Solo? In Star Wars episode six when he's on the forest moon of Endor? Smells a lot like tar. Yeah, kind of an asphalty Alpine sage. I like Alpine sage, earthy herbal scent. This is a soap that's not afraid to. Cypress and sage oil. Cypress, Cypress, Cypyrus. This here's a good one. Cool fresh aloe. This is one of the other ones that I have legitimately used. I took it with me on a trip to Texas because I thought to myself, going to a beach, sun. I didn't even get sunburned, so it was a complete waste. This one smells clean and it's beautiful. Look at that. This is the third one that I've used, the cold brew cleanse. It's supposed to smell like coffee and brown sugar. It doesn't really smell strongly of coffee. Quiet! Quiet! Deep sea goat's milk. This is a mistake and a disgrace to humankind. They say the smell is sea foam and cotton. I, I, I get the sea foam and the cotton concept that they're going with here. It's just that it also smells slightly like rotten milk from time to time, which is nobody's fault except for the goats and their milk. 
Here it is. It doesn't smell as bad taken out of the box. Maybe getting more of the scent. Yeah, there's not really a milk smell. Those are the 11 main scents. I just went through and I sniffed all of them. I am ready to give you a ranking because that's the job. That's, uh, that's why we're here. I threw this ranking together after careful consideration and deliberation for hours. Number one spot, Alpine Sage. That earthy herbal scent just feels like you're being healed by nature itself. Second place, Bay Rum for its delicious cinnamon. Third place, I'm giving to Eucalyptus Greek Yogurt of all things. It's the Eucalyptus. It's a lot like the Spearmint Basil Scrub, a little bit more gentle and a little bit more blue, a little bit more. Following that is the Spearmint Basil scrub itself. After spearmint basil scrub, we have cool fresh aloe. This one smells so good and is also beautiful. You can put it on display on your coffee table and everybody will ask you questions like, what the heck is that? Why is there soap there? And you'll be like, shut up. Gold moss. It's just such a gentle, soft scent of moss, I guess. After that, I gave pine tar its spot. Next is cedar citrus. I really like it. It's not very citrusy. It smells more like a mahogany desk and Sharpie markers. Next up is grapefruit IPA. This one is so citrusy. It smells very, very strongly of grapefruit. Cold brew cleanse is second to last because this doesn't smell like coffee. And I feel like the name promises that this would smell like coffee. And so then you're disappointed because I don't smell like coffee right now in my shower with this soap. There is a bonus about getting this. Every time you buy one of these, it supports firefighters, I think. That's what it said when I got it, and that was sort of why I got it, because I like to be supportive. Last place goes to our goat's milk. Deep sea goat's milk. This is the worst one. And now for part two, we're gonna look at the limited edition soaps because I mean, it doesn't really matter because they're limited edition. I don't think you can even get them anymore, but I got them and so we're gonna look at them. Okay, if we're talking limited edition, we're talking holiday soaps and soaps that came out just for memes. We're gonna start with Frosty Peppermint. This one smells like cardboard, so I'm gonna take it out of the box. This is another one of those really pretty ones. Oh my gosh, look at that. I see where they were going with this one. It was a cash grab for the holidays. <laughs> I don't even know what peppermint smells like, to be fair. Maybe peppermint does smell like that. It smells good, don't get me wrong. The next one we're gonna talk about, Bao Chica Wow Wow. I have no clue what that means. This soap was their Valentine's Day soap. It smells a bit like, smells like chocolate and cherries, maybe? Drunken Pumpkin. This was their Halloween October soap. I'm guessing another really fancy one. Look at that. This one just smells like cologne. It smells like an Axe cologne. The scent is supposed to be fall bourbon. Not sure what bourbon is, but uh, it probably smells something like Axe deodorant. Let's talk about their outer space bars. This is the Mars bar. It's supposed to smell like Mars, I assume. What else could it smell like? As you can see, it's the color of Mars, so, so far accurate. It smells like laundry detergent. Knowing what I know about Mars, I'd say they're pretty spot on with how Mars smells. The Area 51 brick, I'm assuming this came out when everybody was jokingly saying they were gonna raid Area 51 and see what was up with the aliens. That's what it looks like, it's like blue and green. Like a tropical rainforest. It kind of smells like the rainforest cafe that used to be in Chicago and tragically closed down so I can't go to the rainforest cafe anymore and get one of those pizzas and look at the animatronic animals as they move around. That really ruined my day when that happened. This one I was so excited about. Irish cream and whiskey. I believe this one came out for St. Patrick's Day because I'm not an idiot and I believe stuff sometimes. With a last name like O'Neill, I have to speak on this. Why does that look like an ear? What the heck? Oh, <sighs> smells like a white Russian or something similar to that. I don't mean a white Russian as in a, a person. Oh gosh, I'm incriminating myself. Freedom Fresh, the 4th of July soap. And there it is, the old red, white, and blue in my hand, about to clean my body, as it should. When my mom smelled this one, she said it smelled like a summer breeze, which is the only description that they give on the box for what it's supposed to smell like. It's kind of just smells like another cologne type one. I think there's a little bit of like a strawberry scent in it. <laughs> This, I think, was like an April Fool's thing. I don't know. Chalky milk. And it's beautiful. And it smells like chocolate. The ranking for the limited edition soaps goes as follows. Irish cream and whiskey at the top because that stuff is Area 51 brick comes in at number two because I like it. And I like Area 51 and we should definitely rate it. Bao Chica Wow Wow at number three. Valentine's Day, romance, love. It smells good. Holy buckets, I dropped one. Freedom Fresh comes in after the Bao Chica Wow Wow one because frankly, nothing smells better than freedom. And if you try to challenge me on that, I would say, okay, actually three things smell better than freedom and 
there, the Irish Cream and Whiskey, the Area 51 Brick, and the Valentine's Day one. So, a couple things do smell better than Freedom, but it's up there. Holy smokes. Chocolate milk soap comes in after Freedom Fresh. After that, we have the Frosted Peppermint one. Get it out of here. And then we have Drunken Pumpkin after that, just cause where is the pumpkin? Where is the anything? And then coming in at very bottom is the Mars Bar. The Mars smell is accurate, but unfortunately the Mars smell is not that good. And that's why it ends up there. Now I'm gonna talk really quickly about the last soap, which comes with the deodorant package and only there. It seemed like that was the only way I could get it. So I got the deodorant package, which comes with all three deodorants. The three deodorants are Alpine Sage, Bay Rum, and then this is the new scent, Fresh Falls. Alpine Sage and Bay Rum, as you know, both have bars of soap in the original set. Quiet! Quiet! The deodorants smell like their bar of soap counterparts. I would put Alpine Sage at the top once again, followed very closely by Bay Rum in smell, and then Fresh Falls would be my third favorite of the smelling of the deodorants, as well as the bars of soap. This is what Fresh Falls looks like. It smells like Cool Ranch Doritos. It smells like that cool, refreshing... Quiet! It smells like that cool, refreshing, very sport type deodorant smell. It smells like cool blue. It smells like the blue Gatorade. I believe that is every single bar of soap. This is not sponsored by Dr. Squatch, so whatever you do, don't go and buy any Dr. Squatch after this. You've heard from what I've said, uh, what they're like. You don't have to check for yourself. You don't have to support them in any way. They're not giving me any money for this. I just became really obsessed with soap, and now I have enough for probably over a year. For one brief moment here, I'm gonna talk about potential new scents, scents that I'd like to see in the making. Because I know that somebody from Dr. Squatch is watching this, they're very trendy, they know what's going on. So, speaking directly to the Squatch people themselves, you need to hear this. These are the ideas. We need a gasoline scented soap, a mashed potato scented soap, a butter soap that's just like a stick of butter. We need a soap that smells like green beans and broccoli, steamed. We need a soap that smells like turmeric and pepper, or turmeric, if you want to pronounce it the correct way, which I don't. I would love to have a, a soap that smells like books, pages of books and ink. I think that for Easter, either a cooked bunny themed soap or an egg soap. For my birthday, you could do a birthday cake smelling soap. That would be nice. It would be considerate to me. So genuinely, a cement scented soap would actually be really, really good. Or sand, just a soap that's just sand would be good. I like sand. It's coarse and rough and it gets everywhere. I think there's potential in the realm of coconuts and bananas for soap. Everybody loves those banana flavored Laffy Taffies that taste terrible, like garbage. I'm just thinking, you know, why not make a soap like that? My last soap ideas, at the top of my head, Sharpie marker, paint, pencil shavings, grease and steel, leather, burning skin, singed eyebrows, salt, that hotel room smell, cardboard, and chicken pot pie. Take them or leave them, but um, you could also hire me to be your new scent inventor. I don't have a lot going on right now. <laughs> Let's talk about the review aspect. So the only three bars of soap that I've used out of this are the Pine Tar, the Cool Fresh Aloe, and the Cold Brew Cleanse. Of the three of those, I have to say that my top one was the Cool Fresh Aloe. That one was amazing. It was beautiful, felt so good, smelled so good. Next, Pine Tar is really nice. Pine Tar has those little grits inside it, those sharp pricklies to like exfoliate your skin. And they're very, very sharp on that one because they're really small and really fine. And it doesn't really bother me, except on my shoulder shoulders for some reason. When I'm scrubbing my shoulders, they feel very sensitive to it. Outside of that, it's a blast. The coffee one was my least favorite. It also had little exfoliaty bits, which I think were the coffee grounds themselves. They were a bit thicker. They felt really nice. I liked them. The aloe one was smooth. It didn't have any of that exfoliation, crumblies, beans and grits type stuff. So, some of the soaps have it, some of the soaps don't. I do really like the soaps. I really like the natural ingredients and things like that that are in them as well. And that's kind of why I went for them. The smells are amazing. The deodorant as well is like all natural ingredients. There's no aluminum in it, which is really good. And that's what I think about them as far as actually using them. <sighs> yeah. Please like this video, subscribe to this video, check out the other videos on the channel. According to YouTube statistics, only a small percent of people who are subscribed to me are subscribed to me. And the people who aren't subscribed to me are the ones that aren't subscribed to me. It's free to subscribe, it really helps me out, and you can unsubscribe at any time. But don't. If you do, I will hunt you down, and I will smell good doing it because of the soap. Yeah.